Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are continuing on with our Three Kingdoms coverage. Um, looking at Yuan Shu today. So, uh, should be interesting. I'm, I know nothing about this guy at all. Not a clue. Not a clue. He was mentioned in um, one of the previous ones, but... Um, don't know. Don't know. We'll find out. So... Disclaimer, as always, all details included below are subject to change as development continues and should not be given to the final. Also, um, China. Sorry, China. Chinese is not my first language, and uh, it probably shows, but I'm trying my best, right? This will improve. The more more 3K stuff I do, the more accurate it should get. Um, so, yes, anyway. So, uh, the pretender. This guy's a pretender, apparently. Yuan Shu, the product of a long line of influential nobles, he has established himself as a powerful warlord. He does look very calculating, doesn't he? Uh, he was instrumental in fighting the corruption of the Han Dynasty and was named General of the Rear by Dong Zhuo himself. A descendant and extravagant ruler, he is well known for his obst obst ostentatiousness and frequently relies on his commanders for administrative matters. So, ambitious power monger, huh? Interesting. Who is he? The product of a long line of influential nobles. Yeah, we know that much. We know that much. Um, originally known for his courage and valor. Yuan Shu is a great hunter and falconer in his youth. Interesting. Climbing through several government ranks, including general of the household, uh, rapid as a tiger. What? Household rapid as... Rapid as a... What? What does that even mean? Oh, right, so he climbed He climbed through them as rapid as a tiger. I thought he was like a, a general of the household rapid. So what? <laughs> anyway, when, when he was a tiger, he was the general of the household rapid. Makes perfect sense, right? Anyway, as time progressed, however, he was known more for his ostentatiousness. Ostentatiousness. He was not a great administrator himself, and so relied on commanders such as uh, Shan Xuan, uh, Shan, Shan Xuan to oversee his forces. Yuan Shu was instrumental in fighting back against the corruption of the Han Dynasty and was named General of the Rear by Dong Zhuo himself. However, when Dong Zhuo took over the capital, you... <coughs> excuse me, Yuan Shu established a base at Luang, uh, Lu... Luoyang, Luoyang, at Luoyang, and allied himself with a group of other warlords in order to oppose him. In retaliation for his betrayal, Dong Zhuo killed Yuan Shu's father. Thus, only sparking Shu's ongoing conflict with half-brother Yuan Xiao, as the two battled to assume leadership of the family in the aftermath. Hmm. After he conquered uh, Nanyang, Yuan Shu placed uh, Shen Zhuan in charge of his army, who then proceeded to rapidly crush Dong Zhuo's forces. Yuan Shu, meanwhile, continued to act as uh, hegemon of Nanyang cementing his reputation as the decadent and extravagant ruler. Despite the success, following Dong Zhuo's retreat from the capital, Yuan Shu's animosity towards Yuan Shao grew. Yuan Shu and his ally Gong Sun Zan fought Yuan Shao for some time. <laughs> this is this is taxing, guys. This is taxing. Uh, for some time, but were ultimately defeated following the death of his envoy Han Yin at the hands of Liu Bu. Yuan Shu launched another large-scale invasion of the, uh, uh, Shu? Shu. Yeah, of the Shu province, I believe. Uh, unfortunately for Yuan Shu, the attack failed miserably, decimating his army and leaving his opponents to take advantage of this weakness. It was Cao Cao who eventually attacked and destroyed Yuan Shu's kingdom, and Yuan Shu fleeing to a small village where he later died of illness. Aww. But also... Are we supposed to be playing this guy? This is his entire life story. I guess it'll play out differently. I don't know, where does the game start, I wonder? I have no idea. But uh, that's that then. Playstyle. Uh, Yuan Shu's playstyle is primarily focused on managing his legitimacy and claim to be emperor. While he can progress through the ranks in the same ways as most factions, he has the unique ability to demand support of his legitimacy. This means that if another faction leader accepts Yuan Shu's claim, it will grant Yuan Shu a significant amount of legitimacy. High levels of legitimacy not only provide higher income, but also a large amount of extra prestige, which will accelerate Yuan Shu's progression through the ranks. Interesting. Legitimacy must also be spent on recruiting new characters into Yuan Shu's faction. Without others accepting his legitimacy, Yuan Shu will have trouble finding allies willing to join him. Aside from legitimacy, Yuan Shu's other key focus is on commerce and industry. 
As faction leader, Yuan Chu provides significant bonus to these income types, so it can be worthwhile to focus on these while he is at the helm. Characters in Yuan Chu's faction also have access to a unique assignment that requires some financial investment up front, but then provides significant bonus to income over time. That's interesting. Huh. So, Guan Xi. Yuan Shu is prone to having antagonistic relationships with those around him, including with his wife, Lady Fang. Oh dear. Anyway, Yuan Shu's rivalry with his half-brother, Yuan Chao, is never far from his mind, believing himself to be the rightful heir to the family name and that Yuan Chao has stolen his birthright. Well, that's unfortunate. Huh. Anyway, uh, let's see. Is there anything new in this always not quite correctly formatted um, paragraph? Uh, anyway, uh, sold birthright. Yan Shu is intent on proving his superior worthiness. That such a tiny addition, but hey, uh, starting position. He starts here. Uh, Chan is where Cao Cao starts. Uh, yeah, that's where Cao Cao starts, and uh, uh, Liu Bei starts just up here, next to Dong. Yeah, yeah. He starts in Dong, so he might start somewhere in here. But I think it's a bit higher up, maybe. From uh, from his his article anyway. So Yuan Shu's starting position is one of the great is one of great opportunity, but also precariousness. It is one of the most difficult in the game. Situated next to the formidable uh, Liu Biao, Yuan Shu's territory is also within a striking range of Dong Shuo, while the Canning Cao Cao lies to the east. Tough. So very very tough, is it? Ah, most difficult starts of the game. Certainly. Oh, okay. Mm, uh, yeah, see, I, this is just reworded all the time. So, anyway, uh, Yuan Shu's territory is also within striking range of Dong Zhuo's forces. He is certainly likely to lash out at Yuan Shu early on. Additionally, to the east lies Cao Cao, an opponent with whom the chance of friction is high. Surrounded by powerful, ambitious warlords with a few allies to hand, playing as Yuan Shu is a very challenging experience that requires initial caution, followed by sufficient boldness to carve out a strong position as the campaign progresses. Initial Dilemma so, Yan Shu's uh, initial dilemma sees him being approached by an envoy who reports that Sun Xuan is surrounded by the forces of uh, Liu Biao, who is seeking the imperial seal for Yan Chao. You can help Sun uh, Shen Xuan, Sun Xuan, Sun 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 Xuan, Sun Xuan, Sun Xuan. Anyway, by declaring war on Liu Biao, which will of course please the former and anger the latter, or you can instead choose to let. Um, uh, Sun Xuan fend for himself. Hmm, interesting. In each playable Warlord campaign, they will face a unique dilemma after fulfilling certain prerequisite actions. These dilemmas will position the player at a fork in the road, marking a pivotal moment in that Warlord's history. One of these options available to you is a choice reflecting what happened in history, and the outcomes will follow the events of the period. The other lets you forge a, a tale of what you might have what might have been. Total War is all about giving players the freedom to create their own stories in some of the most exciting periods in human history, and these initial dilemmas epitomize that spirit. Uh, Yuan Chu's initial dilemma sees him being approached by an envoy from uh, Sun Xuan. The envoy reports that Sun Xuan is being beset on all sides by the force of Liu Biao, who is seeking the imperial seal in the name of uh, Yuan Xiao. You can decide to help uh, Sun Xuan by declaring war on Liu Biao, which will make, which will of course please the former and anger the latter, or you can instead choose to let uh, Sun Xuan fend for himself. Campaign progression. Uh, Yuan Shu's overarching aim is to become emperor, but to begin with, Yuan Shu uh, must focus on stabilizing his power base against Dong Zhuo and Liu Biao, while also building an alliance ag uh, against Yuan Xiao. Ultimately, Yuan Shu will have to dominate the south in strong opposition to Sun Xuan. Uh, the east versus Cao Cao, or the west against Dong Zhuo and Liu Biao, and none of these options are easy. However, the areas surrounding uh, Yuan Shu's starting location, while not necessarily immediately wealthy, can lead to a strong economy with plenty of commerce and industrial resources as well as farmland if properly turned to his advantage. So what kind of player? is Yuan Shu for. Yuan Shu is for players who want a challenge from start to finish, as well as those who um, those enjoy though, well, as well as those who enjoy being a scheming power monger who hustles <laughs> others into accepting their legitimacy and supremacy. 
with the lofty goal of becoming Emperor, dominating his playstyle, and potential enemies on all sides. Yan Shu's campaign requires steely nerves and careful balance on both caution and decisiveness when the need arises. Sounds brutal, but um, lofty ambitions. Definitely, definitely lofty. So uh, yeah, sounds kind of cool. So guys, uh, further reading. As always, there are some articles here, so I have linked this blog post in the description. If you want to look more into these characters, you'll know more than I have. I haven't read all this stuff, so you'll be an expert. You can tell me about it in the comment sections. So uh, yeah, so that is uh, yeah, that is uh, Yuan Chu. So next up, our next general for uh, the next episode will be uh, Yuan Xiao. So we'll be talking about him tomorrow, so be sure to tune into that. I say tomorrow, next episode. I'm probably posting all these on the same day. I have no idea. There's a lot of them, though. There's a lot of them. But, uh, hey, 3K will be released soon, so it'd be nice to just get them all out there. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.